All right, guys, this video is going to try to capture the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension. And so this, this little Christmas decoration is supposedly our three-dimensional earth, the surface of the earth. And so when I tip, I tip it up there because I can't make it float by itself. And so when I put this three-dimensional earth or three-dimensional figure in this box, it becomes a four dimensional figure because you have a three dimensional figure within the box that is has it contained and so this is how the fourth dimension looks like and so to thoroughly imagine it all you have to do is imagine that the three dimensional christmas decoration that's in this box is not attached to the top with a tip which means it supposedly is just hovering in the center of this box by itself without any attachment and if you can imagine it hovering in this box by itself without any attachment you can imagine the fourth dimension because that's how the fourth dimension looks like so basically in the fourth dimension it's basically like this a three-dimensional figure within of a, a dimension that is greater than it and so all you have to do to imagine the fourth dimension is imagine this ball that's in this in this little box, not attached to the top of the box, as you can see with the, with a tip. So all you have to do is imagine the ball supposedly floating in the center of this container without any attachment to the top or any, any attachment to the bottom. And that's how the fourth dimension looks like. You got the fourth dimension is basically a three-dimensional sphere within a dimension that is greater than it. And that basically is how the fourth dimension looks like. So all you have to do is imagine this ball without any tip attached to the top floating in the center of this container. And to imagine the fifth dimension, all you have to do is imagine this container floating within another container, another box, another box that is like, bigger than this box, bigger than this container. So this container is basically floating in the center of a container that is bigger than it, while the ball within this container is floating in the center of this container. So that, that is like the image of, a, of the fifth dimension. And that is basically saying that there is a box like this that is built around this container and this container is floating in the center of the in, of the box that is built around it. And the ball within this container is floating within this container. So this container has no attachment to the box that is built around it. It's just floating in the center. And the ball within this container has no, no attachment to the top of this container. It's just floating within, the, within this container. So that's basically how the fifth dimension looks like. So dimension is supposed to be um object within another object that has, has a greater a greater space design than it and so this ball is supposedly three dimension and when you put this ball and imagine it's putting this ball in this container without any attachment where it just floats by itself that creates the fourth dimension and then imagine having another container where this box with this ball in it is just floating in the center without any attachment to the, to the other container. And that will give you an image of the fifth dimension. And so the madness is, the craziest thought is, if it's possible for a three-dimensional being to imagine the fourth, the, the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension, and try to and attempt to capture it to object within his dimension, three-dimensional objects, then shouldn't it also be possible for a two-dimensional being to imagine what a sphere looks like, given that it is possible for a three-dimensional being to draw a sphere on a two-dimensional sheet of paper? And the argument is basically saying, if you can draw a sphere on a two-dimensional sheet of paper, Given that a two-dimensional two sheet of paper is able to capture and contain an object that is a sphere, then shouldn't it also be possible for two-dimensional beings to grab what a sphere is, given that 
a spear can be captured on a two-dimensional surface. And so the real madness is, can a two-dimensional being imagine and capture a spear on a two-dimensional on a two-dimensional surface, or does or uh, is it or is or is it only a three-dimensional being that is capable of imagining a three a three-dimensional a two a three-dimensional object like a spear and capturing it on a two-dimensional surface? And for my personal understanding, I feel like technically, if I can imagine the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension and try to capture it with objects within my environment, then it should also be possible for a two-dimensional being to be able to imagine the third dimension and the fourth dimension and try and be able to capture it with objects within its reality. But since I'm a three-dimensional being and the only way I can capture a spear on a two-dimensional surface by joining on a piece of paper, then it means that within the second dimension, a two-dimensional being technically doesn't draw on a two-dimensional surface, which means a two-dimensional two being def most likely draws or writes on a one-dimensional surface. And so the man is it possible to capture a three-dimensional object on a one-dimensional surface? Because if that is not possible, then it shouldn't be possible for a two-dimensional being to capture a three-dimensional sphere on a one-dimensional surface, even though it is possible for a two-dimensional being to be able to capture the concept of a three-dimensional sphere with, with atom within its reality. And by that, I mean I'm, I'm a three-dimensional being, and within my reality, most of the things around me are three-dimensional objects. This sphere is a three-dimensional object. This box is a three-dimensional object. And so, since my reality as a three-dimensional being is consists of a three-dimensional three object, within the reality of a two-dimensional being, the object within its reality should also be two-dimensional objects. And so, based off the fact that two-dimensional objects exist within a two-dimensional being reality, it is possible for a two-dimensional being to use two-dimensional objects to capture the concept of a three-dimensional of a three-dimensional figure, or even a four-dimensional figure. But because a two-dimensional being most likely writes on a one-dimensional surface, it shouldn't be possible for him to capture the image, or for him or her to capture the image of a three-dimensional figure or, or three-dimensional object on a one-dimensional surface, or four-dimensional object on a one-dimensional surface. And so this concept basically came from the fact that um, I was able to observe that the Earth itself is a four-dimensional figure based off the fact that we, come, we live on the surface of the Earth and the surface of the Earth is technically a three-dimensional sphere and because the surface of the Earth is a three-dimensional sphere and we are living on the surface of the Earth, the Earth has to be a four-dimensional a, a four object given that the atmosphere is detached from the surface. And because the atmosphere is a sphere by itself that is detached from the surface, it means that the Earth is a four dimension is a four dimensional object, which means our our universe is most likely a fifth dimensional universe, because if the Earth is indeed a fourth dimensional object, given that we are living with on a three dimensional sphere and the surface and the atmosphere is detached from us, it means that the Earth has to exist within a fifth dimensional plane, and so that's how this that's basically where this concept came from. And this concept is basically, and this video is basically an example of how the Earth is a fourth dimensional, a fourth dimensional object figure and we are living in a fifth dimensional universe. And so I'm just trying to capture the concept because I've been trying to capture the concept of a fifth dimensional, a fifth dimensional plane or a fifth, or a fifth dimensional object for a while, but I really couldn't capture it with, I really couldn't explain it within human terms and so I thought about I thought about using that like, props to help to help capture it for to help other humans to understand where I'm coming from, and so that's basically why I made this video. I was going to use this and put it in a bigger box, but I already couldn't find anything big to use this to use this globe. So I just took the Christmas decoration and put it in there by using the tip to help people to understand where I was coming from, and so. 
but before ending the video, I'll go I'll go over the concept one one last time. This Christmas decoration is supposed is supposedly how um the surface of the earth look in space because we are on us we are, we are on a pretty surface in space. And so the surface of the earth from the objective view most likely look like this sort of, like this Christmas decoration, we should see in a, a circular sphere ball. And then this bath, this container is basically the, the atmosphere that is detached from the surface of the earth. And so this is a good example of what a fourth dimensional figure or fourth dimensional object will look like. And so to imagine it, all you have to do is imagine that um, this Christmas decoration that is a, a sphere is supposedly existing within this plane without anything attached to it. And it's just hovering at the center of this plane without anything attached to it. If you can imagine that, you can imagine what the fourth dimension looks like. Because the fourth dimension basically looks like this sphere existing within this, up, within this container without any attachment to it. That's basically how the fourth dimension looks like. And the fifth dimension basically looks like the exact same thing, but you, all you have to do to imagine it is imagine this container is in another another container, and it's it's just floating in the center without any attachment to it to the other container that is that it exists within, and then within it the sphere is existing within it without any attachment to it. So that basically. Well, how the fourth dimension of the fourth dimensional plane and the fifth dimensional planes look like, and so that's all for now.